side Cause we gotta make change today Yeah, like my man cannot I gotta wave my flag then I'm singing my freedom song My redemption song It's all for me It's all for me Just came from work. I live in Brooklyn. Oh, like to walk home. The man's groceries for God's sake. Who are you protecting? It needs to be refrigerated. Who do you want to provide for your children and your grandchildren? Who do you want to your attention? I mean, there were a couple thousand of us just marching across the bridge, and the cops basically blocked us off from both ends um, on, so that we couldn't move forward, and then we couldn't move backward, and they just kept squeezing us in. Um, and, you know, we were willing to get off the bridge, but they weren't letting us get off the bridge. Um, and then they basically started arresting people just one at a time, loading people on buses. <laughs> they separated out the men and the women, and they were in the process of arresting all the men one by one. Um, and then for some reason, they I think that they're at capacity, basically. And they basically grabbed a handful of women and told us to follow them. We thought we were about to get put on the paddy wagons. And then they just marched us off the bridge. We have nurses here who work at Cook County Hospital. We have nurses here who work at Cook County Hospital. Wildfire. There's 850 of these protests in the United States. It's going overseas. It's happening. It's, it's happening all over the world now. That is that is a commonality in people. That's something that they feel deeply, and because of that, they hear it. It resonates in their hearts, and it makes it moves them into action. You're as free as you are free financially. <laughs> If you got the dough, you could do whatever you want to do. If you don't, you're done. You're stuck in the system. And 
that's not right. The, the top very minor percent is, is engaged in, in, um, in corporate welfare, while the rest of us are dealing in capitalism. This is a movement about equality and, and, and a democracy, and liberty and justice and the rule of law. And those are those are deep democratic principles that have been completely forgotten. But in this I was drinking yesterday, it was the last day. Up the sand from my legs, but it ain't gone. Now was time to remember. Half well, hold your hand. Half well, kiss your lips. How I feel like now. Well, I feel proud of this. Here's the whiskey. Pour me down and let me burn it like a member. Out of there the day when I made. 22% of children in the United States, the richest country on the planet, excuse me, live in poverty. That's that's not acceptable in America. It's just not. We're here to get the message out that we all should be living a communal life, that nobody should be forgotten, the poor shouldn't be left to suffer on the streets, people shouldn't be working and can't survive, there needs to be changes.
there's an inequity here in the United States of America. That's why we're hated all over the world. We have about one or two percent of the people that get about 70 percent of our income, and we have 40 million Americans who are living under the poverty uh, 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 record. Uh, What's your name, sir? Stephen Patty. And you're a veteran of... Uh... Yeah, World War II. The cops wouldn't let him come in through that side. You need to, apparently, you need. there's only one entrance now that you're allowed back in. I think that showing frustration is the unifying theme. If we stand here, if we sleep here, if we go to another park, but just having a bunch of people show up just to show... I know that people are upset about that it's not a specific... It's not, they want it to be a very specific goal, but just showing you're frustrated is good enough. What's your name?
Washington Square Park closes at midnight as per New York City law. Persons who elect to remain in the park past midnight are subject to arrest for trespassing. Despite your feelings about it, Washington Square Park closes at midnight as per the law. If you elect to remain in Washington Square Park past midnight, you're subject to arrest for trespassing. Protect and serve. 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 Out of the car, came out of the car, stepped up to both windows, stepped up to both windows, told my friend, told my friend to take the key out of the ignition, take the key out of the ignition, and put it on the dashboard, and put it on the dashboard. Then we had to step out of the vehicle, then we had to step out of the vehicle, where they proceeded to handcuff us. When they proceeded to handcuff us, we did nothing wrong, we did nothing wrong. They made us sit on the sidewalk. They made us sit on the sidewalk. While they searched the vehicle. While they searched the vehicle. They came up with nothing. They came up with nothing. They searched for warrants. They searched for warrants. We had none. We had none. I have no criminal record, by the way. I have no criminal record, by the way. So, they told us. They told us. To stand in front of the car. To stand in front of the car. When we got in front of the car, when we got in front of the car, they had the nerve to ask us. They had the nerve to ask us if we knew how to do the chicken noodle soup. If we knew how to do the chicken noodle soup. All of you might, might not be familiar with the chicken noodle soup. All of you may not be familiar with the chicken noodle soup. It was a popular dance at one time. It was a popular dance at one time. I was very insulted. I was very insulted. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. And completely humiliated. And completely humiliated. This needs to stop. This needs to stop. Right now. Right now. There are many friends I have. There are many friends I have. That have gone through the same experience. That have gone through the same experience. And that's all that I want to say.
just did not discover America. And Cortez was the god of death indeed, y'all. Now, Pizarro and Balboa like to show their shiny armor and they all killed all people in the name of gold and greed. Jesus didn't have nothing to do with it, no. They took him along just to justify the plan. Well, now, all of us here left with our own invocation. We shall not be removed here from Sugar Land. Oh, listen to me, Sugar Land. We got the gold, the gold ain't for sale, and it can't be stolen. Sugar Land, lies have been told. Body's been sold, but we keep on rolling, rolling. Sugar, sugar, sugar land, y'all. Hey, hey. Raising up Cain in sugar land, sugar land. Our words are spoken. A crack that came so hard, our backs became unbroken. Don't you know we came from Africa? We went across the world, became all of humankind. We built the pyramids and the very first universities. Long before our colonizer lost his mind. Fast forward, fast times of fast food. Corporate plantations, mass production, bad moods, American exceptionalism. Oh, infidel people been reduced to servitude. But they cannot take our gold or our fortitude. Come on, yo. Sugar land, we got the gold. The gold ain't for sale and it can't be stolen. Sugar land, lies have been told. Body's been sold, but we keep on rolling, 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 sugar, sugar, sugar. And we doing it loud and proud, and we are not stopping until we get some justice out here. Are you with me? So my suggestion, if you want to reach this affluent plateau, my suggestion is borrow. <laughs> borrow. Start with your friends. <laughs> borrow from your friends. And when they ain't got any more money, make new friends. But keep borrowing. That's what our forefathers did. Our forefathers borrowed. They borrowed and borrowed and they never paid it back. <laughs> Our fathers borrowed. They didn't pay it back. We borrowed. We ain't gonna pay it back. It was our forefathers that gave us this big debt. If we had two fathers instead of four fathers, we'd have half the goddamn debt. That's why I say to regale ourselves to the instrumentality which will make it necessary to repose those who bewitched us and to categorize that and make it more explicit, we can appreciate the difference between what is shit and what is not shit. I'm a teacher, yeah. Who are you a teacher at again? Academy for Young Writers. And why are you here? Uh, I wanted my kids to experience what was going on downtown. Um, they heard a lot about it on the news and 
they told me they wanted to come and they were interested, so we organized a field trip to come down here. What's your name? I'm Ashley. All right, thank you very much, Ash. Pray for Scott Olson. We say pray for Scott Olson. We say pray for Scott Olson. We say pray for Scott Olson. He was a man who was shot in Oakland. Pray for Scott Olson. Yes, a proud U.S. Marine. Scott Olson, yeah, defending the American dream. We say pray for Scott Olson. He was a man who was shot. In Think of this event. I think it's great. I think that the poor are are uh, need a chance to, to be heard. Thank you very much. Planetary ecology is breaking down. Planetary ecology is breaking down. Breaking down. Climate change. Climate change. Species loss. Species loss. Widening circles of pollution. Widening circles of pollution are some of its marks. Are some of its marks. All this and more testifies to. All this and more testifies to an ecological crisis of unprecedented proportion an ecological crisis of unprecedented proportion that threatens the future of civilization that threatens the future of civilization and even the extinction of our species we get a solution the extinction of our species along with many others along with many others in the mornings we start off like mostly bagels donuts peanut butter and jelly uh, nutella all that. How many people? Like a continental breakfast. And um, then uh, the eggs arrive around 9, 9.30. And then we have hot food. We shut down, we open up for lunch. We usually start off with sandwiches and whatnot. And then the pizza will arrive. Uh, today we had a barbecue place to deliver us mac and cheese and refried beans and steamed vegetables and cornbread. And um, yeah, that's a, it's very varied. It depends on what, what we get. And then we have some very creative chefs in our off-site kitchen who whip up some really good stuff on it.
How can you take the military council's power As away? As we did for Mubarak. Yeah. yeah. Resistance, we have many tools. pressure. Yes, we, yes. Exactly. Resistance. How was the organization between men and women? We were like one Egyptian. Just one. No difference between men and women. Uh, we are making everything together.
this is great what's happening all over the world. Let there be two. Let there be three. Let there be many occupations. All over the world. Yeah. All over the planet. That's right. Every city, no matter how small, deserves an occupation to call attention to the warmongers' bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's all connected with the banks, right. with the gun, I'm such a Yiddish word for thief. And the thing is, we are having a fun at giving them hell via the many versions of Zakati Park. <laughs> by Wall Street. Pardon us, sir. I'm here, aren't I? One of my great heroes of all time. Sorry. May I shake your hand? Sir, thank you very much. It wasn't as violent as Oakland, but it was there was definitely some brutality going on. It was
I'm right here. I'm right here. Evicted last night. Yeah, what? How did it go down? I mean, uh, I was um, apparently. I just learned this today. Apparently, the, the uh, cops were told one hour before it happened. We were pretty much woken up and told we were leaving right now. We had about 15 minutes to get all of our stuff and get out of there. Once we uh, left the park, once we weren't allowed back in. So as a result, anything that all that you're able to take with you is what you can carry with you. Um, like uh, a lot of media equipment was thrown away, like uh, food, medicine, the bicycle generators that we have was all just thrown into big piles. What happens next? For you. We don't know yet. Um, this isn't the end of it, though. I know that the passion is still there. Once we see the uh, once we see the reaction from the world, we I can guarantee you we're going to be you know, rejuvenated from that as well. It's just a matter of like if this isn't going to work out for Sky Park, where we're going to occupy instead. Other occupiers have successfully reoccupied parks before. We have enough enough supplies and storage to potentially reoccupy here. So I don't know. We need to just get together from somewhere and like figure it out from there. But at the moment we're a little bit scattered, so. Oh,
as American citizens, you guys are impinging our rights. What we are doing is right. We are fighting for the rights of everybody. For our future and the futures of your children, these people are screwing you. Walk to Sorry? Talk out, Look behind you, walk to the other side, walk, please, keep going. Run the side, walk. Run it. Revolution! Said, please no, stop. he never said a word to me. You know, the mayor was, was fairly tolerant, but you know, I think all the mayors are cracking down, and, and all they're doing is creating more of a cycle of, uh, of 
this whole education process is going to grow. The more that they attack, the more the people rise up. And there's nothing they can do to stop it. They should be on our side. They're on the wrong side of history. All the mayors who are cracking down in the way, especially the ones who are breaking the law. And that's not good. Breaking the law and being so abusive and violent, and that's not, this is a very peaceful movement. And I think one thing that's kind of good about the park, the people here were very compassionate. They took care of a lot of homeless. Some people they took care of uh, mentally disturbed. Some families came and they, they joined the movement because of the free, free tents and the free sleeping bags and because of the food, but then they got involved. And some of those homeless people found community and helped us with the movement. Some did not. Yes. And so taking care of a lot of homeless people, which is really the city's job or the state's job, became our job, which I, I said not our, the, the community here. And they took care of them. They were being very compassionate. But then the media would come interview some guy who was mentally disturbed and say he was a protester. And that would kind of kind of stain. But you see the people here are all politically astute people. They're all here because they have high aspirations for America. They're all here because they care deeply about the future of this country. They're patriots. And that's a very important point. So when I went to Occupy Boston the other day, and I went to that constitutional amendment, and I met all those beautiful kids. They had a great community. They took care of maybe 15 or 20 percent of people who were homeless, but not as many as we had to take care of. How many have you visited? How many different... I visited a few. When I was in Boston the uh, day before yesterday. You think this movie's going to keep on going? It's this not movie gonna... just got started. It's brand new. <laughs> it's a brand new. These are seeds for an American revolution. They're not going anywhere. Cool. Thank you. Typically, you don't want to see three people bunched with masks. I don't want to see three people with masks on at all, because yeah, that's you. the law. But I got see you. three together, they're definitely getting lost. You want me to right? Right in front of me. Stop talking to me. Into the park. Into the park. Into the park. Into the park.
What's the uh, cost? The cost of all of this? What do you think of the millions they're spending? I think they will cost the city millions and millions of dollars. Especially we have these police fuel. officers out here 24/7 for the last several months and months to come. And I hope that the city does go broke when it's all said and done. What? What's your name? My name is Anne. And what do you do? Right now, I'm, I, I recently got on, um, laid off from the Department of Education. Uh -huh. What did you do? Are you one of the folks who were laid off in the last round? October 7th, yes. What did you do? I was a parent coordinator. Where did you work? I worked in high school in Queens. Thank you. For IBW, CWA, 45,000 strong, we have representing all of Verizon for 45,000 workers from New York, New England, CWA, all the way down to Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia. This is what it's about. This is what the face of democracy looks like. What's your name, sir? Rolando Scott, president of CWA, local 1109, Brooklyn, New York. And your name, sir? Bill Huber, president and business manager, local 827, IBW in New Jersey. What do you think of Occupy Wall Street movement? What do you think of these young people who came out it here? It's tremendous. It represents what's going on systemic in the society. Again, the corporate greed, the audacity of the economic inequality that's happening here. People are frustrated. Millions of Americans are out of work. And it's the audacity of the Wall Street brokers. This is why we are out here to express our indignation for what's happening here today. We recognize we are the 99 percentile. We as a rising workers, unions are the, the pathway towards the middle class. We are the middle, the pathway, and Verizon has tried in the corporate greed to smash us. It is unacceptable. It's a patriotic duty to make sure there's a sustainable middle class. They have not done that. We are saying to them, absolutely not. We're here to fight towards that, to make sure that we have our working class family. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are.